Hi everyone, I'm Jake and welcome to Cunning Sense. Um, today we'll be talking about Alien Worlds, a browser-based crypto game built on the Wax chain. So first things first, you're going to need a, a Wax wallet, which I can do a video on, but it's not very hard to create a wallet. Um, just create the wallet and then log in. They'll actually walk you through it on the Alien Worlds website. Well, once you get all logged in, you're in the game. So once you get into the game here, you have settings. I turn off my music and sound effects just because I have it up on another screen constantly while I'm doing everything. And I just click on it passively throughout the day, and I don't really want to hear the music and sound effects continuously playing in the background. So when you first start, all you're going to have is the standard shovel and the male or female human, whichever one you select, whatever you create your user here. So after that, you just start mining. Um, when you mine, you select a world, but you have a choice of these six right now. You select a world like Neri here. Go to the game and select where you want to mine. Um, say you want to select here. Um, the rarity doesn't really mean anything yet, as far as I can tell. It does have a different charge time, but all of the different planets have different charge times. You can also sort through that way. So all the planets have different charge times. Each different planet has its own commission, and the commission is what the landowner is taking. So every time you mine, they're taking 20% or 19% from this volcano. They have some with zero. Uh, the max I think I've seen is 20, but they vary wildly all over the place. Um, so the little pickaxe is the difficulty of the planet, meaning how hard it is to mine. The charge time affects the amount of time it takes for you to successfully mine. The pyramid is proof of work, which should be the amount of TLM you can gather. Some of them, most of them have zero. Some of them do have a higher number there, but honestly, I haven't seen it affect it that much. And this little snowflake looking symbol with the number underneath it is the NFT chance. And the higher this number, ideally, the higher the number of NFT you get. Now, the percentages are still pretty low, especially because, like, I still have starter equipment. So I've been getting them from planes and things lower than active volcanoes. Um, if you want a better breakdown of what each item is, or where different charges are, or you can sort on this website, which I'll link down below. Currently there's 3,343 different lands. And you can sort by anything, the highest commission ratings, the highest NFTs, um, highest charge times. It just really depends on what you want. So you can figure out and narrow down exactly how you want it in here. And say we want to mine here because this is from the Crypto Monkeys website, which I'll get into here in a second. So you mine here and then it verifies with your Wax wallet. And I've noticed and seen a couple other people talking about if you don't click directly on the box and you click off over to the side, you don't have to select traffic lights or buses or you know that recapture game you have to play all the time you have to do that far less if you just click over here in just the white blank space but this is going to fetch a mine delay and i can mine now so i clicked mine and it'll take sometimes it takes 10 seconds like this other times it takes 30 seconds you can back out if you want to, but I generally just stay on the screen. And then I hit claim and go through the same thing again. And once this finishes figuring out the new delay, you'll see here I got 0.11 TLM. And my next time limit is 16 minutes away. So, and then you just wait. Now, with the Crypto Monkey specifically, there's a number of different people who have a number of different rewards for mining on their planet compared to others. And you can find them if you look 
hard enough. But this is the Crypto Monkeys one. From what I can tell, it's one of the more well known ones, so that's what I'm going to talk about. And if you read through here, if you mine on these lands or stick. Um, TLM to the planet, which if you stake to the planet, you can get voting rights for the council that controls the planet. But you'll get rewards every one to two weeks. To be clear, you get put into a reward drawing every one to two weeks. And every time you mine, your name gets put in again. Now, they do say they've put out 23,795 Crypto Monkey cards, which, if you look here, is these things. It's their NFT collectible cards. I don't think they have an, any other purpose, as far as I can tell, outside of existing as a reward for mining on their thing. And they sell for various amount of wax, so you could only mine on these planets. And they give out more details down here. But you could only mine on their planets that are listed here and potentially earn extra NFTs that you could then hold on to or sell again on the Atomic Hub here. But the things you can get as rewards vary wildly. Um, you get the 0.11 TLM, but you also get a chance to get um, the NFT cards, which increase the amount of TLM you can get or a higher NFT chance and a higher proof of work whenever you mine. I did buy one of the standard capacitors from the marketplace here. And you can see there, 4.9 wax. Um, I played this game for a couple weeks now. It was, like a lot of the other channels talk about, it was extremely profitable for a while, but it's way further down now. I mean, you see, I get 0.1 wax per 15 minutes. So one TLM right now is worth roughly 1.6 wax. And one wax is worth 0.2 or 20, 0.23 USDT. So you need roughly 4.3 wax to get a whole USDT. And to get 4.3 wax, you need roughly 2.5 TLM. At mining 0.1 TLM every 15 minutes, that works out to roughly four and three quarters hours to get one US dollar token. So it's not something I think you should sit here and click on continuously, but I set mine to worlds that I generally, or lands that I generally end up with at about 15 minutes, and then just click passively on my second screen while I'm studying or working or doing really anything on the computer and if i just happen to see it's ready to mine i mine now like i said i have gotten one capacitor a, a drill from mining i also got a rock cudgel and a stealth mercenary but that is it as of right now most of those don't sell for a whole lot i'm using them to increase the amount of tlm i get now you will notice i have two standard capacitors equipped you can't really do that just through regular equipping um, here is a web page that goes into exactly how to do it in detail basically you have to go into your bag get the id from each one of these and then equip it it's kind of annoying but the capacitors are so much better than the shovels it's worth it and I'll put a link to that down below as well. Now, once you get enough TLM built up, or any TLM built up really, you have the ability to go to the exchange. I'll link this down below as well. But you connect your Wax wallet in here. And as you can see, it's looking at Aether last. But I have two point. 7 TLM and I can go ahead and change that over to wax if I wanted to right now and right now that's worth about four wax I do already have three wax and I'm just gonna save my TLM because so far this is as you can see here kind of varying wildly as far as the exchange rate um, I'm kind of waiting for it to go back up a little bit now 
just so that I can get a little bit more wax per TLM there. But once you get in, get all of your wax, you can purchase items with it, but something else you will need to do with it is you'll have to stake it for resources. Um, once these get full, you're going to get an air and it's not going to let you um, mine anymore. I'm not going to let you claim until the resources goes down. And all you have to do is put the amount of wax you want to stake and at stake. It'll give you a transaction success and if you refresh it, it should go down not up. <laughs> Let's try that again. I haven't refreshed that page in a minute so There, you can see I put two in there and it went down. That's just the network resources, so that means a lot of people are doing it right now. Now, if you go into staking rewards, you can see that I've staked 13 wax on the game and I voted on a proxy so I could get earnings and I can claim the earnings once you get so much. Right now, I, only have, well, I did just claim, I only had 0.002 wax. So I didn't really need to claim it yet because there's no reason to, but I did. But that's the the basis of the game there. There is, um, uh, they are working on it still. It's still in, I guess, pre-release. I don't have land, but looks like they're going to do Thunderdome later. And the Thunderdome is some PvP, and they're talking about adding artifacts. I don't believe those are in the game yet. And they're going to add some quests that you can do to play with your friends. And I believe there's a new planet, their new Binance planet coming eventually. And that would mean that there'll be a seventh planet. From my understanding, from what I can read anyway, it says that it is completely owned by Binance. So whatever staking percentage they put on there, they would take all of the rewards. Which is fun. It's just it's a very interesting game. Now, like I said, it's not gonna you're not gonna earn a ton of money on it right now. I'm hold, trying to hold on to all the TLM and wax I get, just because I think whenever they release the Thunderdome and all of that, some of these items, like if I can keep getting some, you know, not rock cudgels, some better weapons or rare weapons and rare items that as this game progresses that more people will be playing it and i think pvp will bring a lot of people in and that will increase the price of a lot of the games in here since it's still so early on it does they did just crest i believe it said a million users the other day so that's exciting hopefully that number keeps going up or people get back into it as the game progresses because as of right now this is just a passive way to earn some TLM crypto, which then you can turn eventually into USDT, which then you can use on any exchange to get any number of other crypto currencies. If anybody else has any questions or wants to correct me on anything, feel free to comment below and let me know I was wrong. I'm, I'll admit when I was wrong, I'm not scared of it. I will continue to cover this game, not every week or anything, but I might do once a month just to update everyone on any changes or any changes at least in NFTs I've gotten or TLM production or just general changes in the world and the way it's played. Um, it's pretty exciting. Like I said, it's just passive. It's not eating up a lot of free time. I'm not actually clicking four buttons for four and a half hours. I'm working or studying or doing something else and just clicking on it passively so as far as a passive means if you're actively sitting in front of the computer it's it's not that bad of a way just to earn a little bit of extra nft and an extra buck here and there all right well until next time i'm jake and i'll talk to you later